Well, here's this current science experiment. This is a mess of a little power system I built to play with wind turbines. Um, got some lithium iron phosphate batteries here, which I can charge with a 10-foot wind turbine that's on a 40-foot tower outside. There's some other videos on the channel about that. Um, I haven't seen loads of wind on it since I put it up. And tonight we're having winds between 015 and up with gusts up to almost 45 miles per hour. Um, for the wind turbine, this is the rectifier I'm running. And this shows the DC voltage out of the rectifier. So as you can see, when it, the turbine is, is furling. Um, and you can't really see it at night or I'd run out there and show you how it's furling. But it's folding up and between the controller and furling, it's limiting itself at about 150 volts um, output. Today I put in this old Jinlong inverter, which seems to be running well. Um, it's a 2000 watt inverter, and I'm surprised that I'm actually pushing it right up against its limits, but um, here you can see the kind of output I'm getting from a 10 foot wind turbine. It could be I could optimize the power curve I put in there. These inverters have a power curve where you can it'll accept anywhere from 30 volts to about 700 volts DC um, the power curve I've got in there for a 48 volt turbine meaning this turbines this turbines made to charge a 48 volt battery that means it comes up to about 140 rpm at which point it would produce about 50 volts DC. So I call that cutting. So I've got it cutting in at about 50 volts where I ask for 10 watts. After that, I increase the, the current, um, or I increase the wattage, 200 volts in 10 volt increments. So at, at 60 volts, I ask for um, 200. At 70, I ask for 400 and so on until I think until I got up to about 90, at which point I started asking for more. And I ramped it up to 2400 watts at 130 volts. Um, so that it, it will hopefully stall the turbine once we get up around 130 to 150, which seems to be happening. Anyhow, you can see the kind of output a 10 foot turbine is producing. Seems quite happy to be um, producing over one kilowatt sustained, which is um, not bad. It's dropped off a little bit there. <clears throat> Anyhow, I've had that inverter kicking around for a while. Got it installed today, and it's fun to uh, see how it's working. This kind of goes to show how well a uh, homemade there we had 1800 watts we're pushing the limit of this little inverter and it could probably be optimized more perhaps I should um, stiffen up the power curve I can hear the blades outside so it is running pretty fast being that this is the first night of this running I doubt I'll go to sleep with this on I don't think I'd sleep well, but I'll watch it for a while. Fun stuff, anyhow. Before I go to bed, I'll walk around real quick and show some of the other junk in the shop from today. These are some new magnet rotors I just cast for a similar wind turbine, except this one will be 14 foot diameter. And these are some blades. 
for the same turbine. So each one of these blades is seven feet long. And these are laminated up out of um, Western Red Cedar two by fours. And my friend Scotty carved these ones. And over here is the stator for the same turbine. Um, this will be a 48 volt stator. This stator is wound with uh, um, 70 or 65 turns. It was 65 turns um, using two strands of 14 gauge wire in hand. So this stator goes with those magnet rotors back there. Those magnet rotors are 18 inches in diameter. And this is the, the book we wrote years ago that um, that is basically the plans for that wind turbine that is currently flying on my tower that I was just showing the output of. And back to the little turbine. Got to look at it one more time. I'm quite happy to see all this stuff working. still generating it says so yeah it seems to be sustaining about 1000 watts which I think is about perfect for a for a um, 10 foot diameter wind turbine Anyhow, that's all for tonight. I'm going back to bed. Good night.